like a parade? Hi, I'm Terry, and I just love a parade, especially when my beloved mountaineers are in it, where the band is marching down the road, and you find all the players, and everyone is yelling, We're number one! We're number one! Well, did you know that Jesus was in a parade? It tells us that in the Bible. And the verses we're going to be looking at today come from the book of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 1, 7 through 11. Just a quick reminder, Matthew is the book, 21 is the chapter, and 7 through 11 are the verses. They brought a donkey and a colt and placed their cloaks upon it. And then Jesus sat on it. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road. And the crowd went ahead of him, and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to da the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city stirred and asked, who is this? And the crowd answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Well, you know, sometimes my beloved West Virginia Mountaineers lose. And when they lose to a team, say like um, Virginia Tech, instead of saying, We're number one, we say, we need a new offensive line, or that kicker didn't do a good job, or we need a new coach, we should get Stu back. Do you know the same thing happened to Jesus? As the week went on, people quit saying, Jesus is number one, but said, he shouldn't say that, or he shouldn't do that. And by the end of the week, they were saying, crucify him, crucify him. Now that would be a sad way to end our story. And of course, our story doesn't end there. Because in three days, Christ arose. And that's Easter Sunday, the most important day in the Christian calendar. So next Sunday we'll be able to say, Jesus is number one. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for Jesus and for what he did for us. And we ask that you keep us all safe and healthy until we meet next week. Amen.